Hello everyone, it's Lena here and today I'm thrilled to guide you through how to integrate your Keylab MK3 controller with Ableton Live. Whether you're working in session or arrangement view, this video will show you how to harness the full potential of your Keylab MK3. Let's jump right in. The Keylab MK3 is designed to work seamlessly with Ableton Live offering a consistent layout and feature set across both session and arrangement views. The main difference is the orientation of the browsing arrows, left-right in session view and up-down in arrangement view. Despite these changes, you'll still control scenes with the main encoder, maintaining a smooth workflow no matter which view you're in. You'll need the latest version of Ableton Live to use the integration script for the Keylab MK3. If you've installed the latest version of Live, follow these steps. Connect your Keylab MK3 and select the DAW program using the PROG button. Once you open Live, the Keylab MK3 should be automatically detected and ready to use. If the Keylab MK3 is not detected, follow these additional steps. Go to Live's MIDI settings, Options, Preferences, Link Tempo MIDI tab. In the MIDI section, select your control surface. Keylab MK3. Set the correct in and out ports as Keylab MK3 DAW and Keylab MK3 DAW. Your Keylab MK3 should now be detected and ready to use with life. The main encoder on your Keylab MK3 is a powerful tool for managing your tracks. Turning the encoder lets you browse through tracks with the current track's name displayed prominently in the center of the screen. The DAW command buttons on the Keylab MK3 include the Save button, which captures your MIDI input for quick saving of ideas, the Quantize button to ensure your clips are perfectly timed, and the Undo and Redo buttons to easily navigate your action history. The contextual buttons on the Keylab MK3 offer additional control and flexibility. Buttons 1 and 2 switch between device control and mixer control modes. This allows you to manage your devices or adjust your mixer settings with ease. Buttons 3 and 4 let you navigate through scenes. Button 3 takes you to the previous scene while button 4 advances to the next scene. When there are no more scenes to navigate, these buttons will be grayed out and unlit, keeping your workflow intuitive and clear. The track control buttons ranging from 5 to 8 provide a range of functionalities for the selected track. Button 5 toggles mute, with visual feedback showing the current status. Button 6 manages the solo function. When activated, it turns off the mute button, aligning with the software's behavior. Button 7 toggles the arm function. And button 8 can be used to trigger the selected scene with a short press or stop all scenes with a long press. The faders and knobs on the Keylab MK3 offer comprehensive control over both device parameters and mixer settings. In device control mode, knobs 1 to 8 adjust the first 8 parameters of the selected device, while faders 1 to 8 manage the next 8 parameters. Knob 9 always controls the pan of the selected track, and Fader 9 adjusts its volume. In mixer control mode, knobs 1 to 8 handle the pan of the first 8 tracks or the offset group of tracks, 
and faders 1 to 8 manage their volume. Knob 9 and fader 9 always control the pan and volume of the currently selected track. Real-time feedback displays the name, position and value of the parameters you're adjusting. The pads on the Keylab MK3 are versatile and responsive, whether you're in arrangement or session view. They correspond to the 12 clips of the first four tracks and three scenes, dynamically updating as you change scenes or tracks. Pads light up in the clip's color when a clip is present and blink red if a track is armed but no clip is available. Recording clips are indicated by a fully lit red pad, while playing clips show up as green. Pending actions are shown by blinking colors, with red and unlit indicating a pending recording, and the clip color combined with green showing a pending launch. The visual feedback ensures you can launch and record clips with precision and ease. The main encoder also features secondary functions for enhanced control. In device control mode, pressing the device button switches the Keylab MK3 to control the selected device. The knobs and faders adjust the device parameters with knob 9 and fader 9 still managing the track's pan and volume. When you hold down the device button, a pop-up displays the device name and turning the main encoder changes the controlled device. This setup ensures you can manage multiple devices efficiently. Switching to mixer control mode is just as seamless. Pressing the mixer button transitions to mixer control, where the knobs and faders manage the selected tracks. Holding the mixer button while turning the main encoder allows you to offset the selected tracks. The pop-up shows the selected tracks being controlled, and the offset is remembered even when switching between device and mixer control modes. However, the offset isn't saved when powering off the unit. And that's a wrap on integrating your Keylab MK3 with Ableton Live. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of how to make the most of your Keylab MK3 for a more efficient and enjoyable music production experience. For more tips and tutorials, be sure to check out our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.